cars have to deal with showrooms as well. We deal with showrooms. Yeah. They're not forgiving because no. the garments are static yeah. and there's nowhere to hide. No. So today we sort of have like a pre-runway, which is like kind of like a critique or like a panel. It's sort of where uh, our teachers look like will critique our work or give us sort of feedback. Lots of emotions, very stressful. Like hopefully by tomorrow I'll be done. Yeah. I say that, but then maybe Thursday morning I might be whipping some stuff up and like crying. Um, I have nothing. <laughs> I still have to make the entire outfit. I have a plan, like I know what I'm gonna do, I know how I'm gonna do it, I just like need to get it done. I'm going for the iron. How's it going? I don't know. Have you started sewing the dress? Uh, no. I can easily get it done, like it doesn't yeah. take that long to do, mm. but it's like, maybe I will just do the baby lock. I reckon you'll have time to baby lock, for I think sure. I'll have time because it's literally just around the edges. The only like major curve walls I've had is the weaving systems that I no normally use for my own studio work, I've had to alter that to fit the materials. Lots of pattern making. I don't normally pattern make. Um, I haven't actually pattern made this entire year. So this, this is the first time I'm pattern making. I am working with like the concept of like contrast between old and new materials. So using like recycled bits of fabric, kind of like vintage doilies. And then yeah, using their kind of shape and imprinting onto the leather. Wet city material neoprene has this association with wetness without actually making it wet. That's the transition, I guess, from these jackets where I was trying to waterproof them and make them look like they're a part of that sort of swampy environment into like a wetsuit, which is actually kind of an amphibious sort of high performance archetype. Getting critiqued is always an interesting experience. I think it's pretty constructive, but it's always just a bit stressful when an old bowl gets kind of thrown in there last minute. The expectations are a bit higher than I thought, so. Yeah, I'm stressing out, yep. So Alexander, tell us what you've got for the pre-runway. Um, so I've just been working on a wetsuit prototype, choosing the felt as sort of a primary material. What are you planning with the actual look? I still need to construct sort of the hat um, component and uh, the galoshes as well. You've really sort of distilled it now in, in, into something sort of quite logical as a fashion image per se. And that's where you're headed to yeah. with the runway. You know, so that, that, that's why again, we really need to consider those accessories yeah. and especially the shoe as well. Yeah. I guess just, I think it's more just about time at this point. Yeah. Um, we'll see what happens. The final look is going to be um, a combination of this weaving method using recycled t-shirts and I'm going to make it in all white t-shirts, extend it into a dress and then overlaid is going to be a vegan leather skirt. How are you finding the felt and how it's performing? Because it's so different, there's no fray anymore. Yep. It's like a paper cut. I think it's, it's, it's really beautiful. It's been so handy. And then we're gonna incorporate the cork. Somehow we haven't decided how yet. <laughs> this is gonna be a dress. Um, and then I'm gonna have like a layered like bandeau um, that kind of wraps and entwines in with the dress so it looks like one complete look. And then I'm gonna have the boots, obviously. So it's an assemblage of appendages, <laughs> a la Clash Couture. Clash Couture. <laughs> hey, and this looks good too, where you've gone to the, you haven't done the contrast stitch, will you keep that going on the next version um. of these? Or did you keep, want to keep the contrast going? Yeah, it's the contrasting materials is pretty much my, my whole concept is, so.